Yo, yo, watching me screaming fish once again, people, and today I am finally reviewing Avengers Age of Ultron, and it just so happens to be my second last MCU movie review before Captain America Civil War comes out on April 29th. I know some people have already seen it in screenings, but those were screenings. They're, they come earlier, so don't come judging me. And I know there are some reviews are already in, but I'm going to do what, I'm, what I said I'd do anyway. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to warn you now, there are spoilers in this review, in this review, I've warned you in the description for some, for some of my videos, and I think that is probably a bad idea, but I've noticed that is a, that is a very bad idea now, so, uh, I, I'm just going to warn you here now, that there are spoilers in this, in this review, so I am just going to recommend that you watch the film first, and then come back to this video, so... Without further ado, let's get into my review of Avengers Age of Ultron. So, when Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr. once again, jumpstarts a doormat peacekeeping program, things go terribly awry. For forcing him, Thor, and the Incredible Hulk, and the rest of the, t of the team to reassemble. As the fate of Earth hangs in the balance, the team is put, put to the ultimate test as, as they battle Ultron, a techno... Techno... Bleh? Techno... I can't say techno... Bleh? I can't say technologic. They fight a robot terror, hell bent on human extinction along the way, and on the and along the way they ca they encounter two mysterious and powerful newcomers, Pietro and Wanda Maximoff. So we got the whole team back. Chris Evans is still brilliant as Captain America, just as well as Robert Downey Jr. is brilliant. Is still brilliant as Iron Man. So, I really like how they've given Hawkeye more attention than they did the last time around. And his character is really fleshed out in this film when they introduce his wife and two kids in a safe house scene. And we also got a further look back look into Black, Black Widow's backstory on how she was trained to, to be a ruthless assassin. And we have Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, dealing with nerve issues. So, I will also say that James Bader is amazing as our main villo- I say- why did I say villo? Villain Ultron, and like two other MCU villains, he is properly developed and- and not quite- and yeah, he may not quite be quite as good as Loki or the Winter Soldier, but he is, in my opinion, a great villain in the, in the film. I think that it was a good idea for Tony Stark to be Ultron's creator instead of Hank Pym, like he was in the comics, mainly because of how the stories of these films go, and because it makes sense seeing as how Hank Pym hadn't been introduced into the story yet. And as for the other two newcomers, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, they're pretty good in this film. I really like Elizabeth Olsen in the film. She fits the character of Scarlet Witch perfectly, and I didn't and I didn't think there was a single weak moment in her performance. However, her powers in this film aren't fully fleshed out at, at all, and at times felt like they were just shoehorned in there. And as for Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's alright in the film. In his film, don't get me wrong, he gives a pretty good performance in the film, but he isn't fleshed out very well at all, to be honest. And and uh, as uh, as all he seems to do for the most part of, of the film is crack jokes and remind us he's a badass, ultimately making him the weakest character and the weakest character in the film. And to be honest, I found him a bit annoying at times in the film. And to top it off, he gets killed off in the film's climax, which annoyed me intensely because, despite him being a, a bit annoying, he, he, uh, I thought he wasn't properly, bleh, he wasn't properly developed, and I, for one, thought he had the potential to become a brilliant character in in this universe and get his own movie. But no, he gets killed off. Thank you, Josh Sweden. So, uh, as for the rest of the film, the action is very entertaining to watch, and and the. F and the film, as it uh, in the film, as it is beautifully chore the action. Okay, the action is beautifully choreographed in this film, in this film, and well shot with long, lengthy shots that actually let us see the full experience of the of the incredible action sequences. My personal favorite being the Hulkbuster vs. Hulk fight, which is a phenomenal action sequence and easily one of the film's best and funniest moments. 
Unfortunately, unfortunately, the same cannot be said for the CGI in this film, particularly in the opening shots of the film, as it looks too shiny and at times felt painfully obvious. However, the effects do get better as the film pro progresses, so this can be can easily be forgiven. The movie also has some particularly strong moments, like the team very nearly falling apart due to the actions of Tony Stark, and this, in my opinion, is the movie's strongest element, as it not only sets up the upcoming Captain America Civil War, but it also develops, develops our heroes even further. Although there are some really stupid moments and quite weird moments in the film. In the film. For, for example, the, the scene the scene that involves Thor going into a pool and screaming screaming his lungs out and having visions of the inevitable Infinity War. And while it does set up Avengers Infinity War, it did feel a bit pointless and let's be honest, very weird. I also got I also I was also very annoyed very annoyed when Ultron was killed off because in the end because like Quicksilver I thought he would make multiple appearances in the future films or even team up with Thanos in Infinity War. But no he is killed off and we're never going to see him again. Or are we? Although the highlight of the film is probably the introduction to Paul Bedney as Vision, who is brilliant in his performance. While he isn't given mu that much screen time, he ultimately became my favourite character in the film, and easily the funniest, surprisingly. Overall though, while Avengers Age of Ultron is a good sequel to a great movie, with great action sequences, cool characters, and a worthy foe at best, uh, this the, the film's story doesn't feel as imag imaginative or creative as the last and as the last and fails to recapture the magic of the first movie. That being said, it's still a good movie and easy one I would recommend you watch. I give this film a 7 out of 10. So, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this movie review. Uh, please subscribe if you like or just leave a like if you like. But, uh, yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, I like Avengers Age of Ultron. It may not be as good as uh, the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, or Captain America the Winter Soldier for that matter, but I still like the film and I thought it was a good sequel. So, do hope you enjoyed it and I will indeed see you guys in the next one. Goodbye guys, and stay tuned for my review of Ant-Man, which might be coming out either today, tomorrow, or the following weekend. So, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.